Life 96.5, that was Mercy Me with all of creation. Good afternoon. It is the final day of Life Flight number 17. And a beautiful afternoon going on so far. Excited for this interview because we have Mike Weaver joining us in studio right now. And Mike, I've been doing Life Flight for seven years now, and I don't remember Big Daddy Weave being on the lineup. You think maybe. I'm for, I'm for sure we've made a live life before. Yeah. Sorry to offend you then and be like, yeah, it was some real unmemorable show it's, you did. But no, it's like we could change the Nat King Cole's on, you're forgettable. <laughs> that's what you are. Hey, man, but you guys are busy doing a lot of things. And, you know, there is, I mean, it is the constant barrage of bands out here, which is why so many people come out to this awesome event, you know. And so, uh, you know, it's easy to miss one sometimes. It, now, it's difficult to miss Big Daddies, you know what I mean? Because we sort of are, we. Uh, we're attention stealers accidentally, you know what I mean? Okay. We just take up a lot of space, and there's like we're sort of noisy from time to time. <laughs> so, but maybe maybe you were on lunch break or something like that at that time. We played in the very hottest moment okay. in all of that year, and whatever year that was, however many years ago that was. Like so it rose a degree when you went on stage. More, and then... more than a degree. I <laughs> felt like we had turned on the oven, right. and I had climbed in there with my guitar. And, and added coals in, that's into exactly an oven. Right. Yeah. It was as hot as I can remember, and I'm telling you, I remember the hottest days all, all the time. So. You know, I, so I, I mean, again, listen, most of us don't ever go up on stage, so we wouldn't know. Okay, but I mean, like, if it's really cold, how does that affect your playing? If it's really hot, how does it affect your playing? Or your I mean, voice, even, your voice. You know? I mean, just I mean, did your hands get like wet and sweaty and slippery, or do they get too cold? You can't There's play the, keys. For, what? See, that's another thing about Big Daddies, and I'm just kind of telling y'all about this race of people, kind of in the in the earth, <laughs> is of Big Daddies that. It doesn't matter if it was hot or cold, I'd still be sweating, so that would be happening. But this was sweating to a whole nother level. I mean, this was this was unbelievable, an unbelievable <laughs> moment. I was wearing all black, which was a bad decision, you know, hindsight 2020, you know. And I had a black guitar, and I was just kind of like, I'm asking for this at this point. It's all my fault. I could have had a marshmallow roast right in the middle of the day. Absorbing a lot of sunlight I going really on was. there, right? it was, Yeah, it was not good. But today is a different, yeah. a different thing. It's like very mild out there. And so, and I missed, I missed the big mud fight, which I was sorry about, because I was like, you know, you've never seen a mud fight until Big Daddy's get involved with a mud fight. That's a whole <laughs> nother level. Thing. It is a whole nother level. I'm telling you, people would have been like, um, you know, I'm, I'm changed. I don't even know if that would be a good thing or not, but it would be. How do we I mean, describe this? I'm just changed. <laughs> I mean, everybody else would have been, I need to change. You know what I mean? Because they just got mud all over. So what do you guys, I mean, here's kind of a question. So in the industry then, if like Life Flight calls, I mean, is this a well-known event? I mean, is it like, well, cool, we get to go play Life Flight? Because you're kind of mentioned off air, you're like, man, why can't you guys do this at a cooler time of year? You know, I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, well, the Midwest here, it's, you know, crazy hot. I was like, I guess you still... guys picked the day. You know, you, <laughs> summertime is always hot here, right? It's like, there's a number. No, I'm just, I felt like last time, I, all I did was complain the entire time. So this year, I'm just going to be content and happy, and I'm just going to, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to let it out. Even if I find a complaint, I'm not telling anybody. I just want to know that. So. Maybe that's why they haven't had a back. Because she was like, oh, he just complains and complains. They're and just all these a guys bunch back. of whiners. Those guys, Big Daddy Weave, whiners. A bunch of yeah. Add whiners into the Big Daddy Weave name somewhere in that's there. That's right. Big, Big Daddy, Daddy Wire Whiners. whiners. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Let me talk about your, your music real quick. I mean, you guys are on this great run of just these really great hits right now. Um, I know the cliche answer is, hey, so where's your inspiration? And then you're going to respond when the Holy Spirit leads us to it. But I mean, is there anything, you know, kind of deeper than that? I mean, how do you channel that? You know what I mean? Man, I'm telling you, we, there was just a, in this record, right before this record, that we were just worn out. I mean, we were just tired. It had been several years between the records as well, which music industry years are kind of like dog years. And so if you miss, you know, the cycle of when you put out a record, man, it's kind of people sort of forget who you are or whatever. And there was just a time we were just so tired. We've been out doing this. This fall will be 16 years for Big Daddy Weave, and it's kind of like, man, you know, there was we were so weary in it. And the Lord just started a revival, and it really did come from inspiration of the Holy Spirit, but it came from encounter with the Holy Spirit just via brokenness. And I feel like the more willing we were to be vulnerable about brokenness, the greater it connected with people. It was amazing to me because you think that God would use the great triumph in your life or whatever, not the big ugly thing. I think the Lord just really, um, the healing work that he's been doing in us and us talking about that all through the process, man, has been something that really people have related to. And then we've seen in the shows, God just move in such a special way in the lives of people. And that, you know, I don't know if we could sort of let the music thing go at some point, you know, but that other part of it, where you see the Lord, where you become certain in your heart because the presence of God, not, I mean, and I know it's not about feelings, but you can really, you can sense that he is there. That part of it, man, I could do that the rest of my life. However that 
that is, I mean, you can be a garbage man and like do that or whatever, or Walmart greeter and do that, then that, I mean, I'm, I'm a lifer for that. You know? yeah. Do you find yourself, is that something where, you know, you, you've been praying, like when you said you were just like in that, that boat kind of what have you been, is that something specifically you were praying for about, you know, to the Lord, like, Lord, just use us, or were you praying specifically for bring that revival in us? I think it was, it was crying out for life, man, you know, for the reality of the life of Jesus, because we're just getting so good at regurgitating things, you know, just saying, you know, I know this in my head, and I say this, and yes, we all know that's true, and everybody nods, but when the Lord himself touches it, it's specifically his presence, man, that's a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing. So now, for a, a little serious question here, we threw this out to our, our friends uh -oh. at Life 96.5, and we asked them, okay, Give us a question that you think, you know, Big Daddy, we would, would love to just answer. Okay, okay, so John Boss, he wants to know if you had a really, really long driveway, like 100 yards long, Yeah. would you walk or drive your garbage can to the end of the road? Dude, I did do, see, I don't have anything to really drive my garbage can very well, <laughs> but you know if I had some kind of golf cart, that's one of the best things about Life Life is coming out here and they have, they have, a dude, I'm telling you, they have golf carts that are like a bus of golf carts. It's awesome. They have like 12 seat golf carts, which is exactly perfect for Big Daddies. If I had one of those, I would stick my garbage can on and drive it up hands down, no doubt about it. Like five times a day. Absolutely. Going, I would going. just drive out there to see if anything else happened to it just because I had a golf cart. Because I think that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like get done with the water bottle. I'm going to go drive it out. Uh, you know it. I would just be riding around in my golf cart. Yeah, that's right. Mike, thanks for stopping at Mike Weaver, Big Daddy Weave. You guys hit the stage at 6.50 night and uh, have a great show tonight. Thanks for coming in. Love it, man. Thank you for having me. Uh, Sorry to cut you. We're getting the... Uh... <laughs> We're getting the...